Ooh. Today I speak about the watcher, the giveaway action that is currently um, running, and about a problem I had with writing. <laughs> So let's start with the, the giveaway action. Yeah. To recap, I will give away to watchers and people can uh, answer the quiz on my YouTube page of um, that particular YouTube video. Yeah. So, um, there were only three entries. <laughs> I don't understand that at all. Why uh, don't uh, participate more people? A lot of people um, looked at it, around 70, and uh, there are six upwards. The video was well received, but um, people were hesitant to participate. Yeah. So if you look at this, don't be hesitant. Just write the answer um, beneath uh, the watcher video. I mean, it's a really easy way to get a bit of uh, money or uh, watcher. So I understand why my parents didn't participate, because um, I'm their daughter and so they thought, oh, we don't have to... Uh, rip off our daughter, yeah? But um, I don't understand why my real-life friends uh, not participated. I spoke with some of them about it and uh, convinced one to participate. Okay, I didn't uh, convince her by speaking. I uh, posted in a group chat, please participate. But I spoke with another about it and she said, no, that's an action for your true readers, yeah? I mean, she read a story like any other of my readers, so I think she definitely has the right to participate participate in uh, this action. Yeah, I don't understand it. Uh, and um, of course, I don't know why her readers don't uh, participate more, because they can, uh, I guess, the answer or just uh, look for it. Even with slow internet you don't need more than three minutes to look for it. A 15 euro for three minutes work is, pre is pretty nice. Yeah? Well, so this week I uh, broke through one of these invisible walls you have for the visibility of your novel on Royal Roads. I'm now in the top 500 and uh, many more people see my novel. And this caused um, a nearly doubling of my followers. So that's uh, pretty awesome. And uh, what's even better is that I received very many um, comments and uh, very interesting comments. They raised uh, some points I was struggling with in the last two weeks. I, um, or they clarified um, these points for me. I tell you with what I was struggling. My story is extremely slow paced and um, some things are described very detailed, like uh, crafting or game mechanics. I had doubts about it in the last two or three uh, weeks. If I shouldn't, if I should shorten it, condense it more. So my writing got a bit ambivalent. On one hand, it was still very detailed, 
but I skipped some of the details I had the urge to write um, because I thought, oh, this is going overboard, uh, nobody will even notice this point. Huh? And I was wrong. Some of the comments directly hit these points. I uh, self-censored myself. Yeah? So um, I give you an example. My MC did uh, some registration of uh, earth materials. And she has a huge database of notes out of her 50 years work um, as an engineer, like old magazines and handwritten notes, uh, development notes about uh, materials who weren't good to work with. The system didn't have some of these more specialized substances in it, so you can register the substance if you know the uh, chemical formula and um, a bit about the production method. Yeah, and I thought, mm, I leave it like this. But in my mind, when I imagined this, I thought, ah, oh, yeah, okay, so she will have more success with the older formulas because the patterns are expired and the newer formulas, um, they still have patterns, so she will have less success rate um, in registering it because of patent laws. Good. Um, while writing it, I thought, uh, let's leave this uh, patent stuff aside. Just write, uh, she registered, uh, just write the um, end step that she was uh, successful in registering um, some of the substances. Yeah. Yeah, but then I got a review. Yes, but what about patents? So I thought, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I know, what about patterns, yeah? Yeah, so I, I was happy that um, he mentioned, uh, or she mentioned the pattern thing, because uh, I thought, oh, nobody will be interested, nobody will even see it, uh, nobody will notice it. Uh, and then they notice. I feel now much freer to go in even more details, but of course I know that um, there was this one person who noticed this one thing, and um, it might not be the right decision for the masses to plot my story even more up with even more details. Um, but yeah, I still think this kind of gives me the permission to to take it even further. <laughs> so uh, let's say the good thing is I feel less conflicted um, about details and the bad thing is that uh, my pacing will suffer <laughs> even more. Uh, now, um, I, now I, maybe it will even have um, good consequences. Um, another of these details I self-censored myself, um, another reviewer caught this. Then I thought about it um, in terms of story development. I found uh, a as an aspect of this detail which furthers the story development. So of course um, I added a scene. So if I keep this in the back of my mind, that I judge the detail by how much it added, it, it adds to the story development or the character development, and I will write these details um, down without uh, overthinking it. And for um, unnecessary details like those uh, pattern thingies, yeah, I will decide on a base by base case. Yeah. <laughs> no, on a case by case base. <laughs> the other way around. Uh, all right. So we've got the um, giveaway action. We've got my solved problem or 
maybe not totally solved, but I really feel better about um, my pacing now than before because I have more the feeling that um, my pacing is appreciated by uh, my readers. And um, another point is I have a website now. It's very small. Um, it's a free uh, website uh, at WordPress. Try ninja hen in one word point WordPress dot com um, and I am pleased with this. Then I did a very long video on Monday about my current stats because I want to have an overview about my stats now that my project has officially started um, that I can clean some trends from it or yeah so i um have to uh, cut it down and edit it but um honestly if you're not interested in stats and crafts uh, please skip this video i did it more for myself and um, i probably will post it because um i can imagine that some new YouTubers like myself want to know the stats from uh, some other small YouTubers so that they have a kind of benchmark or a kind of point of comparison to judge their own stats because I have no point of comparison um, at all and uh, so I, yeah like I have very high rate of external traffic um, or what I think it's a high rate but I don't know if it's a high rate or not uh, and it would, it would interest me if it is a high rate or if it's common for small YouTubers that uh, they get their traffic not out of uh, the YouTube functions, but out of um, external links in specialized uh, platforms like myself. Yeah. So I will post um, this in the next few days and uh, the video will definitely be more uh, than a half an hour, maybe even um, one hour, I think between a half an hour and one hour. So um, yeah, please don't watch it. It will be uh, boring and um, there will be only stats and crafts and if you're not interested in this kind of stuff, just skip it. For next week, the Discord channel is still on my list and um, I want to open up another uh, web shop, Spreadsheet, Spreadshirt, Spreadshirt because um, they have good conditions for Germany, not that high of a shipping cost, like um, especially Threadless. I mean, I mentioned that um, uh, not only that the shipping cost is ridiculous, but I had to um, pay tolls as well, a 14 euro just in tolls for a towel. So. Uh, that's not good for Europeans. <laughs> and the Discord server. So uh, these are two points. Um, and of course, like every week, uh, writing, 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 writing. So see you next... Um, I don't know. Should I make the vlogs on Sundays or on Wednesdays? Yeah? I'm not sure about this as well, uh, because I like more planning a week on Sunday, because then I have the uh, whole week in front of me, so on Wednesday, so if I have some, um, un let's call it uncomfortable things, like visiting the finance and I say, oh yeah, it's Wednesday now, um, I think Tuesday is a very good day to um, go to the finance end <laughs> and uh, yeah, and next Tuesday I've already forgotten it. Uh, and next Tuesday is so far away because the weekend is in between, you know what I mean? So I'm reluctant to make the vlog on Wednesday. 
So we'll see um, in what kind of mood I will be next Sunday. If I'm in vlog mood, I make a vlog. If I'm in some kind of other mood, I make um, another video. Oh, and my mind flows over of video ideas, yes? And I know this state of mind. And I know that it's now sprinkling like a spring in spring. <laughs> but that there will be a point where I'm, oh, I have no idea at all. Hmm. Yeah. And so I want to write down my ideas. I haven't wrote them down yet, but I have to write them down because I will forget everyone, <laughs> every single one of them. Maybe not every single one of them. Um, but uh, I need a stockpile of ideas that when I'm in an uncreative mode that I can look at the list and say, oh, well, yeah, this idea wasn't half bad. Let's make a wit about this. Yeah. So uh, I will officially start um, taking notes on video ideas. Right. So, uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye.